disclaimer. As governments over the world keep on wrestling with the progressing COVID-19 pandemic, China, where instances of the lethal contamination were first detailed, is presently confronting another danger. A disease called severe fever with thrombocytopenia syndrome or SFTS brought about by a tick-borne infection has executed 7 and infected in any event 60, setting off alerts among health authorities in the nation. A large number of the cases reported were concentrated in East China's Yangzhou and Anhui provinces. While more than 37 people were diagnosed with SFTS in Yangzhou in the early months of 2020, 23 were later found to be infected in Anhui. While the disease is transferred to humans through tick bites, Chinese virologists have warned that human to human transmission of the virus cannot be ruled out. So, what is the SFTS virus? Severe fever with thrombocytopenia syndrome belongs to the Bunya virus family and is transmitted to humans through tick bites. The virus was first identified by a team of researchers in China over a decade ago. The team of researchers identified the virus by examining blood samples obtained from a cluster of people exhibiting similar symptoms. Virologists believe that an Asian tick called Haemophysalis longicornis is the primary vector or carrier of the virus. This disease is known to spread between March and November. Researchers have found that the total number of infections generally peaks between April and July. Farmers, hunters and pet owners are particularly vulnerable to the disease as they regularly come in contact with the animals that may carry the Haemophysalis longicornis tick. Scientists have found that the virus is often transmitted to humans from animals like goats, cattle, deer and sheep. Despite being infected by the virus, animals generally do not show any symptoms associated with SFTSV. Patients suffering from the disease usually experience a whole wide range of symptoms including fever, fatigue, chills, headaches, nausea and diarrhea. Some of the early warning signs of the disease include severe fever, thrombocytopenia which is low platelet count and leukocytopenia which is low white blood cell count. The risk factors observed in more serious cases include multi-organ failure, hemorrhagic manifestation and the appearance of central nervous system CNS symptoms. Human SFTSV infections have a high case fatality rate, an initial rate of 30%. Since its discovery the number of SFTS cases has increased significantly with a current case fatality rate of approximately 10 to 16%. So where exactly are these ticks found? Generally tick populations tend to be higher in elevation in wooded and grassy areas where the creatures they feed on live and roam including deer, rabbits, birds, lizards, squirrels, mice and other rodents. However, they can also be found in urban areas as well as on beaches in coastal areas. What happens when you come in contact with this tick? Ticks prefer warm, moist areas of the body. Once a tick gets on your body, they're likely to migrate to your armpits, crotch or hair. When they're in a desirable spot, they bite into your skin and begin drawing blood. What is the status on a vaccine for the SFTS infection? There is still no specific vaccine for the infection currently. However, to avoid contracting the infection, people are advised not to go into jungles and bushes as ticks are commonly found in those areas. These precautions should be strictly followed during summer season as ticks breed actively during that time. Unlike the COVID-19 pandemic, this is not the first time that the SFTS virus has infected people. The recent spate of cases merely marks a re-emergence of the disease. This is being highlighted in the media so much because cases have emerged in China where the coronavirus originated. These numbers may very well just be routine and may tally with the annual count of cases that are found every year. If you like the video, do not forget to like and subscribe and leave down in the comments below what your thoughts are about the re-emergence of this disease. I urge you all to share this video because it is imperative that we educate everybody around us about this disease. Stay safe and I will see you next time on Explore Lux News.